Can red light therapy really improve your vision? Red light therapy in the eye has gotten a lot of attention recently, and there are a ton of studies being done for various ocular conditions. So what exactly is red light therapy and how does it work? And it essentially uses low level red light to treat various health conditions. This therapy can reduce inflammation, speed up muscle recovery, increase collagen production, and even alleviate pain. Red light therapy can be administered by a variety of different ways. Light emitting diodes or LEDs are used, lasers, or even specialized lamps. The choice of which light to use kind of depends on which condition you're treating. Red light therapy is believed to increase mitochondria function, which increases ATP production. If you remember from your science class in middle school, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Chemical energy produced by the mitochondria is stored in a molecule called ATP. Plain and simple, if a cell requires energy, it breaks down ATP to release that energy. So ATP is absolutely necessary for all cellular function, even more importantly for cellular repair. So what are some of the common ways that red light therapy is being utilized for the eye? There's emerging research that red light therapy can slow down the rate of myopia or nearsightedness in children. Now why this occurs is not perfectly understood. One theory is red light therapy influences scleral remodeling and it prevents the eye from elongating. And that is essentially one of the biggest things for nearsighted patients is the eye physically elongates. A study published in 2023 evaluated over 1,800 kids that underwent red light therapy. This study showed that they slowed the rate of myopia by 0.68 diopters and by 0.35 millimeters in axial length compared to the control group. Other studies have shown that dry eye patients have improved signs and symptoms by reducing overall ocular inflammation and increasing tear production. Probably the most exciting application for red light therapy in the eye is its potential treatment for dry age-related macular degeneration. And if you're not familiar with AMD, this disease can cause central vision loss and actually can even lead to legal blindness. Another very interesting finding in their study was patients that had AMD that underwent red light therapy actually showed visual improvement, which is unheard of when you're dealing with a macular degenerative patient. It's almost like a one-way street. It's either stable or it's getting worse. We don't see visual improvement ever with dry AMD. Now, red light therapy and AMD patients is being done in other countries around the world, but it's not currently FDA approved in the U.S. However, there is a company named Lumathera that does have a light delivery product that is currently underneath clinical trials in the FDA. So we'll see what happens. So I wanna be really clear, red light therapy for these various ocular conditions is not yet FDA approved. We need to have large scale, multi-center clinical trials to determine the efficacy of red light therapy. These trials are also required to determine the short-term as well as the long-term side effects. Plus, we need to determine how much red light therapy is needed per day or the wavelength of red light needed to look at. So I'm not recommending that you run out and buy a red laser today and look at it. We don't wanna use it inappropriately in causing cellular damage. There was some research done in January of 2024 at the University of Houston that found the red light used for myopia control was exceeding the safety limits and potentially causing cellular damage in those patients. Regardless, all of this is incredibly exciting in the eye world. If ongoing research confirms that red light therapy is not only effective, but also safe. It allows us as eye care professionals to offer another non-invasive option for these ocular conditions. So just as a reminder, red light therapy has not been FDA approved for any ocular condition. So hold off on buying that device until the red light gets the green light.